Evet arkadaşlar bugün Miami'den Boston'a geldim yani iki gün önce geldim ama bugün bu videoyu çekmek için Brandon arkadaşımla beraber sözleştik ve bu videoda ona bazı sorular yazdım. Sizlerin de ilgili olabileceği sorular ve bu soruları da kendisine soraraktan Amerika'da yaşayan bir startuplı çalışan bir arkadaşımı sizlere tanıtmak istedim. Kendisi de benim gibi bir girişimci. Benden biraz daha farklı şeyler yapıyor ancak onu da tanıyın Amerika'da farklı bir yaşamı görün. Şu anda onun evindeyiz. Bastın aynı zamanda ben birazcık tatil yapmaya geldim. Kısaca sizlere de tanıtmak istedim. Güzel bir sohbet yapmaya çalışacağız. And let's start. This is okay. Brandon, my friend. I'm And, here. Uh, I'm glad to be here in your channel. Thanks, man. Bro, I've, I've been watching the channel a couple of videos and gets me pumped up. Even though some of the videos <laughs> I don't understand because it's Turkish, yeah. but I can read a little bit of the subtitles and it, it's it's amazing what you do. Thanks, brother. Sure. I'm, I'm trying to do my best and uh, inspire as much as people as possible. Tell us about yourself, please. Where are you from? When did you come to the United States? What are you doing now? And how's your life going? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna be a quick summary because it's a big, uh, big story. But yeah. my name is Brandon Roberts. Um, I was born and raised in Mexico City. When I finished uh, high school, I started college in Mexico. I, I was doing a little bit of architecture. I didn't like it. And then I decided to move to the U.S. because my, it was my dad's dream. He always told me that in the U.S. there was more opportunities, there was more freedom to reach uh, your goals. So um, I applied to a couple of universities. A friend of mine was helping me out. And then she told me, I, I, I told her that I wanted to be in a city mm -hmm. where there was people that were the most intelligent people in the world. like. Hustling and, and really, really interested in being better. And she told me, no questions asked, go to Boston. It's a city in the entire US with the most universities. It's Harvard, MIT, they're here. Uh, Brown a little bit north, Boston University. Then there's a lot. I went to uh, Suffolk University's uh, business school. Mm -hmm. Brother, it's, it's been an amazing journey. Yeah. It's been crazy. Yeah, so we, we met with Brandon like a year ago. Since I know him, I follow him from Instagram. First time here in Boston for me, but uh, I also see he has a similar life to me, like as a daily routine, gym life, meditation, reading a lot of books, trying to make self improvement. So we became good friends, and he has he's working in a very good company that I'm also really interested in. Like I, I like the way they do things. Do you mind telling us a little bit about uh, your work and what you do? Personally, uh, besides your work, also uh, about the company too. Okay. And then what you want to do in the future, maybe. For sure, for sure. So I started working in this company. Um, I was an intern. I started there as an intern doing uh, actually a job that I did not like at all. It was customer service, but I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. It was a, an experience that it was for six months and you learn. You yeah. learn a lot. I, I would never like, change. Is it, is it easy to find a job uh, it's, after you graduate? It was not easy. It was not easy. It was actually all about connections. Connections. Uh, all right. I was in a party one day talking to one of my friends, and she she was talking about her job and what she was doing, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Wait, do you think I can get an interview there?" And she did uh, got me an interview. I yeah. I got the job, the the internship. Wow. They paid me minimum wage. Uh, it was it was it was hard. It was a hard job, but I learned a lot. And after that, I graduated, and they offered me a full time job. That it's what I'm doing right now. Uh, so in the intern, they pay you minimum wage. Yeah. And when you graduated, they started to pay you a, a better salary. Yes. Since you became a. I mean, it's a serious worker. Yeah, an yeah. Employee, an official employee. Nice. So I became an account manager. Uh, the company is a startup. It's been in the market for four years. Four it's going to be five years this uh, this December. Yeah. And it's been growing a lot. Yeah. Since the day I started there, it was, I think it was like uh, 30 employees. Now we have 70. And out of the 70 employees, 40 are uh, actually in the technology part. Because yeah. even though we are a financial company, it's a tech company, basically. Yeah. So it's it's been incredible. 
learning a lot. So one of the reasons that I'm also doing this video is to show uh, what a company can become in, uh, in about four to five years a technology company that which is you guys know that it's really hard to create a software company in Turkey but here in the United States mo mostly everything is possible and especially in a place like Boston uh, companies like this just start and they rise very quickly if they have the right team if they have uh, right marketing strategies and everything so this is a technology company Yes. And are you allowed to talk about some numbers, like uh, about what kind of um, revenue or um, what kind of sales they're making? Um, for sure. Um, but I could tell you a little bit about the numbers. So basically, the company is, is uh, getting a lot of investment from um, investors outside the U.S. and investors inside the U.S. Yeah. The last investment that they got it was around three hundred uh, three hundred million dollars. And they're using this investment to give the uh, loans for cars. And then uh, the revenue side, we are uh, about, we do 600 loans a month mm -hmm. and we're growing in, I think right now, the average um, sales or loans, totaling the, the 600 loans, it's around $75 uh, million dollars a month. So. Wow. It's wow. it's been crazy. I I yeah. see this Those numbers company, are crazy. Yeah, grow a lot. A yeah. Lot. So uh, coming from Miami, this is a very different place for me. Uh, more technology, smarter people. Everybody has a purpose, and that's what I really like, and that's uh, my thing too. So um, yeah. seeing this like in four years, hearing these numbers are crazy numbers. Would you also mind telling me about how uh, you were talking to me yesterday? about your, uh, how your boss being um, very humble and uh, smart investments that are doing in their personal lives as well. For sure. So I, w I was telling uh, John here that uh, since, since the first day that I started in the company, mm -hmm. um, the company is really, really open. All, all the, the office is just one table, like a really long table where everybody just works there, including the CEO and this that, that's very nice to hear like amazing yeah amazing everybody with the ceo yeah. working in the same spot it's very yeah. motivating yeah the ceo is literally like another employee in the in the company he's extremely humble um and he's extremely smart i i just want to get to this point because for example in the third world countries uh, there, there's this thing where when the boss enters there's this really serious and um level difference relationship between the boss and the employee so everybody yeah. is like like this like hello boss uh yeah. here, here you know you have to get rid of that if you're trying to build something very good with a team yeah yeah right? he's, he's an actual leader uh yeah he just not only tells you what, like what to do how to do it but he will just go ahead and, and help you out and that's yeah, that's amazing i love that i love and that. something that really got my attention was that he he gives loans for cars. He's giving loans for Ferraris and Lamborghinis, crazy cars, he's giving loans for a, a lot of uh, real expensive cars and he drives a Honda. Wow. He drives a Honda, he's a multi, I don't wanna say wow. billionaire, but really close <laughs> and he drives a Honda and that, that just really got my attention how impressive. humble he is and how he's reinvesting every single cent that he's making in the company back in the company. Wow, man, that's very impressive. Yeah. Very nice. Um, lastly, I'm sure my followers are going to want another video with you next time I come to Boston because yeah, we need to do more. Yeah, for sure. They are really interested in young entrepreneurs that are just going to inspire them because since America is a country that everybody wants to be in, they like watching people from the US and I'm trying to do as much as videos as possible okay. and make new people. Um, but last question is, Tell, tell us about your day. How does your day start and end in a startup company? Uh, where do you put the gym? How do you do the meditation that you're talking to me about? Yeah. And how does your day start and go? So I have a really strict routine in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's when I really have the time to do all of my like, personal uh, development. Mm -hmm. So I will start in the morning by, by doing my bed, uh, have everything really clean. 
Then I will just uh, start my meditation. What time, by the way? 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. And then after that, I will just meditate for 20 minutes. Uh, I love meditation. I've been doing it for the past like three to four years, and it's incredible. After that, I will hit, hit the gym, come back, eat something, a uh, quick breakfast, and I will just head out, uh, head out to work, and I will be here around 9.30 in the office mm -hmm. sometimes i will stay here in in my house or i will you have like to... a strict uh, plan that you have to be in the office they, or they allow you to work from home so they allow me to work from anywhere in the world they, wow. they they want me to to just get the numbers and if i can get the numbers anywhere they, they don't want me to be in the office all the time yeah yeah so they, they're really flexible so i will just start my day couple of emails mm -hmm. then i will go and visit uh our clients the dealerships that we work and we're partnering up with yeah. and build a really good relationship with them so that we can build a bigger um business with them yeah after that we will just um finish up the, the deals actually closing the deals with the clients and my day my office they will end up around 8 p.m mm -hmm. and um, after that I will just work on my personal stuff, my personal brand, uh, creating a couple of YouTube videos or just like spending time with my wife. Yeah, nice. You just got married, by I the way. I just got married, by the way. <laughs> come say hi. Come, please, please no, say hi. Be... Yeah. Come say hi, please. Okay, okay, okay. And this is the entrepreneur wife. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Can you please quickly tell them what you're doing? It's a little surprise. It's a little surprise. <laughs> for about, everybody, for us. About the, what about tell them about the two companies that you're building and just a little summary. Okay, so uh, my name is Alini and I'm from Brazil. And I've been having the company for three years now, three and a half years. And it's about like helping people get their visa to come to the US. So I help like Brazilian people to, to get the tourist visa or student visa. And also I'm a sales um, manager uh, of a dealership. And that's how we actually met. Doing business. Doing, Doing business. business. And, yeah. um, and also I, I have a side business that it's like about rental cars. Nice. nice. Amazing, amazing entrepreneurship. That that's why that's why the shit we got married. I mean, <laughs> what what better thing to have a partner, not only like a relation partner, but a business partner. Of course, always. And another thing is, they always since I'm a guy, they always get inspired from um, seeing me doing things like men. I don't have any ladies or girls around me doing entrepreneurial stuff. So when they, uh, I'm pretty sure when they're gonna see a woman first time in the video talking about an entrepreneurship business and everything, mm -hmm. I, uh, probably a little bit of my woman audience would they're be interested like in too. Yeah, they're gonna like it. Yeah, I mean... they always ask like, don't you have like stuff for a woman? Like, <laughs> I mean, I think it, here in this country, that's why I came here too, there's a lot of opportunity for everyone. Yeah. So um, while you're like, you need to have uh, a job like that you need to, you know, have just to pay the bills, you can just be building something else that you want to do like with passive income and if you want to build your own things. Yeah, it's open, open for everybody. Money's there, gotta yeah. earn it gotta follow the money yeah. if you if you they have the hustle in you and you have the time for sure the money is gonna be there right the money is gonna be there yeah closing with one sentence tell us uh, you tell tell a woman mm. in my country something motivating to motivate them about like uh, business yeah anything inspired okay so I think the first thing that uh, you know especially us that you know in this were that it's not um, equal, you know, with men's. So I think the first thing is like to actually uh, believe your worth and never uh, hide behind men's. Always try to uh, do your own things and be professional. And because for sure you are good at something, you know. So yeah. always do your best. Nice. Yeah. Thank you guys. Of course. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for having us. Of course. Next Brother. time. Uh, if you guys want a video with Brandon more, we can make like a daily vlog next time I come to Boston. Yeah, so comment be nice. below if you guys want uh, another video. 
and thank you for watching see you guys later bye <laughs>